Guns in the Texas Fair. Now let's go ahead and talk about it because there's been some developments. What's up, Wolverines? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is John Crump. I am an investigative journalist, and if this is your first time here, enjoy. On this channel, we cover things from gun laws to gun cases and do some investigations. I also write for MLN.com, and I would appreciate if you can share this video out to get the word out about what is going on in Texas. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It would really help the channel grow. We also have our fundraiser going on for Pack 997 of the Cub Scouts. If you want to donate below, you can. The link is in the description. Today, we're going to be talking about the state of Texas and the Texas Fair. The Texas Fair is held every year in Dallas. This year, the Texas State Fair is going to be a little bit different, or Dallas wants it to be a little bit different. We'll have to see what actually happens. Dallas has designated the Texas State Fair a gun-free zone. Dallas PD says that they will enforce the ban and cite anyone that has a firearm at the Texas State Fair for criminal trespassing, even if you have a license to carry. Now, Texas is a permitless carry state, but you can still get a license to carry in Texas. But even if you have that, you're still going to be charged with criminal trespassing. And that is going to come up a little bit later. A.G. Ken Paxson says that that violates Texas law. You see, Texas law says that a government-owned facility or government-leased facility cannot ban firearms if it is open to the public, with some exceptions, such as a courthouse. So, Dallas decided they were going to make the whole entire Texas State Fair a gun-free zone. You see there are some buildings on the fairgrounds, which is 277 acres that hold high school events, pro sport events, and collegiate events. The Dallas people are arguing that that makes the fairgrounds a gun-free zone. Attorney General Kim Paxson points out that most of the fairgrounds is not a gun-free zone, so by making the whole entire fairgrounds gun-free, that the city is violating the Texas state law. Dallas rejected that and said, no, we're not, and went ahead with the ban by putting up signs and actually telling the PD to enforce the ban. Ken Paxton issued a 15-day notice telling Dallas they had 15 days to rescind the ban and take down the signs, which they didn't. After the 15-day deadline expired, Ken Paxton, as of yesterday, has now filed suit to get injunctive relief to prevent the city of Dallas from banning guns at the state fairgrounds. Now, I did what a lot of people don't do, and I actually read the lease, which is available in the court filings. And I noticed a few different things, and it's also pointed out in the court filings themselves. One, Dallas cannot claim that they are banning guns to protect themselves from lawsuits. In the lease, they are indemnified from any civil or criminal cases that come up as a result of anything that happens at the fair with the exception of gross negligence by the city. So it would have to be sole gross negligence too. So if there's any other party that had gross negligence and also the city had gross negligence, the state would be on the hook to battle that out in court and pay any fines or awards and damages to whoever sues. So the city cannot use that as an excuse. Also in court, you need the credible threat of enforcement via law enforcement. And since Dallas PD already said that they are going to issue criminal trespassing to anyone that violates the gun-free zones, that means that the state of Texas has a credible threat of enforcement, which gives them standing to sue. Ken Paxton is asking for the courts to enjoin the city from enforcing any bans and also issue an order for them to remove the gun-free zone signs. 
from the state fairground. Whether they do that or not, I am not sure. The city manager, Kimberly Tolbert, has already said that the city is willing to fight this in court. But I'm not sure she has a leg to stand on because also in the lease, it said that the city is bound by Texas law and the Texas courts. And if you read the law, I'm pretty sure that it includes state fairgrounds as government leased facilities and land. So I don't know how Dallas is going to win. In fact, I think that they are going to lose. And then we'll have to see what they will do. But I think I see Ken Paxton in Texas winning this against the city of Dallas and their anti-gun rules. We don't have a court date as of yet, but I'm pretty sure we'll get one fairly soon. The Texas State Fair is set to open on Friday, September 27th and run through Sunday, October 20th. This should be resolved by then. Whether it will be a gun-free zone or not, we'll have to see. I have a feeling that Ken Paxton is going to win this argument because reading through the statute, it is pretty clear that they cannot ban guns in the whole entire state fair. Maybe those buildings, but even that is in question because they're not being used for high school activities or collegiate activities or professional sporting activities at the time of the fair. So we'll just have to wait and see what is decided here, but we should know something by the opening of the fair. All right, guys, I hope you have a good Labor Day weekend. Grill out some hot dogs and hamburgers and have fun with family. I am out of here, so stay ever vigilant, stay ever free, keep in the fight. Remember, if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you like it down below. It actually helps with the algorithm. And make sure you tell people about this channel. It would really help me out and give to the Cub Scouts. All right, guys, Wolverines, motherfucker.